there seems to be something going on in London. This subculture of green spaces, conservation, urban gardening, growing food locally. Team London Bridge has done some great gardening projects. There are places for people to sit and relax. There's been some planting done, some beautification of, of areas that were once sort of a little bit derelict. What I love about the fact with Team London Bridge is they, they're always pushing for the next idea. You know, it's almost every year they want to create something, you know, so one year it was Gibbons Rents, the next year it was enhancing the estates of White's Attires. This last year it's been the Greenwood Theatre, so they're always looking for some new, new thing. We have this very strong relationship with Team London Bridge, who have a lot of confidence in us. And we're putting down roots, so we, we look after Melia Street here, so we now garden other areas like the Secret Garden at Gibbons Rents, uh, the new Pocket Park at the Greenwood Theatre, um, and really great uh, venture for us is working at one of the local estates, at the Whites and Tyres estate, so having our clients work alongside the residents. I think a project like this really needs a few key people driving it forward um, and that's what's so special about this. There's lots of different bodies involved, you know, Southern Council, Team London Bridge, Cityscapes, Network Rail, you know the list is pretty much endless. We had a look at some local green infrastructure audits and Team London Bridge happened to have already carried out an audit and so we read through that, we saw the project and we thought this would be a perfect one to join up with. As opposed to just creating a green space for the sake of creating a green space, before we even form a brief, we work out who does this space benefit. And bit by bit, you realise there's a lot of partners. And so it's bringing those in, and they all bring something to it, and this garden can also all help them in what they do. And, and that's what it was, it was a slow process, but it made it possible through funding, through energy, that's, that's how it came about. And that's the new way of creating gardens in London, is you've got to come together and, and make it happen. It's also involving local communities like some mungos putting down roots, um, trying to get people back into the, into the working environment by training them up. Local schools have been involved in planting tulips and stuff like that. So, you know, it's a fantastic project. I, I usually design people's back gardens. You know, people have got a spare bit of cash to do their back gardens, but this is more rewarding than any of those. It's important to create these so that we can join up areas of green infrastructure around the City of London and so I imagine spaces like this will draw more and more um, visitors to the area who will actually then use the cafes locally and use the um, businesses that are local. I think these green spaces are important for people who live, work and also travel through um, because it just does enhance their, their life. I think it's therapeutic for everybody. Um, just trying to use every innovative way to just enhance the green spaces. Mm -hmm.